Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are continuing Spirit Walk exploration here. Uh, so the plan for today's episode is to uh, work on some trim on the base, um, and also maybe try uh, start working with you know some of the water pump stuff. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, and see how that goes. So there, uh, the latest update that came out this weekend. Um, today is Sunday, April the 10th. Um, is the one where they added the scanners and the deep vein uh, ores on the surface of the planet. Or, yeah, well, out on the surface. So, in other words, you can start mining them outside and you don't have to be in a cave. Um, so, I just thought I'd come out here and look around and see if we have any of those right on our island here. Because if we do, we might as well... We might as well... Um, start using it right and we'll just put a a, a bio drill down and uh, check it out so yeah uh, yesterday on Saturday afternoon uh, we did a multiplayer live stream and um, messed around a little bit with the new scanners and that was pretty cool I like the uh, I like the cave scanner uh, which there's a new mission you have to do to unlock the scanner can't remember off the top of my head what it's called. It's Mer Meridian something or other. Um, and anyway, they give you a cave scanner in that mission. And I really actually liked it. I thought I found it very useful. And then, you know, the deep vein scanner also worked quite well, too. The thing about deep vein mining, though, especially with the biofuel miners, it's really, really slow. Um, so if we happen to luck out and have a deep vein here on our little property, I'll probably set up an electric one. <laughs> Um, you know, and get whatever or, uh, you know, resource that that provides for us. Uh, okay, so let's uh, go take a look over here. All, all of the predators seem to hang out over here. Oh, the other thing now is buffalo will attack. They're no longer um, passive runaway animals. So that's a thing. Doesn't look like they're they're still very tough, though. <laughs> they should be tougher than that, I, I would think. I mean, you'd think an animal this big and bulky and muscular and whatever um and thick heighted would be comparable to a bear in, in toughness you know uh at least that's what i i would think but i don't know maybe not any hoozle yeah let's look around and see if we can find any of those uh oh yeah we've got the different types of meat now too keep in mind you guys you know i, I did do one one episode uh since i've been back but i haven't really played the game for the last three weeks uh, much so pretty much all of the updates from the last three or four weeks are is kind of new to me um and i know the the special meats have been around for about that long period of time too but i haven't really uh messed with them a whole lot so apparently too you know some of these meats are supposed to be really good uh, in terms of the buffs and stuff that they provide um so yeah let's just go ahead and kill the predators off here and uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll kill everything, you know, and get all the the bones in particular. Don't really need hide or any of the other stuff, um, but the bones we're continuing to use to make epoxy with. And then uh, see if we have a deposit. It doesn't look like we do, but I haven't looked real closely. So, okay. I'm sorry, baby dear. I know that's that's brutal, but but we need your bones. <laughs> that's all there is to it. We need your bones. Okay. Grab that and get the bones. Okay. So yeah, I'm not uh, not really seeing anything over here. The scanner is something you have to purchase in the in the workshop and bring it down with you as an as an exotic item. So it's not something you can make down on the planet. Alright, that pretty much clears all the critters. Looks like we have a bleed we gotta deal with. Uh, no. Zero. There we go. So, you know, the thing about this game that I just really find <coughs> um... That I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy about, I guess, is what I'm trying to say is that, you know, they just keep coming out with these updates and adding more content, fixing bugs and stuff, and bravo to them for that, you know. 
giving you more stuff to do so you don't kind of hit that in end game wall that you inevitably do end up hitting in in pretty much just about any game there is uh, and survival games seem to be uh you know for me anyways uh survival games seem to be even more susceptible to that because you know with survival games what are you doing you're surviving right and then by so by the time you survive and start to thrive there's often not a whole lot more to do and then it's like okay now what do i do you know so uh, it's just nice that they continue to add content and fix the game and make it better so i think it's awesome all right, I guess that takes care of all the critters, so let's um, head up on inside here. And uh, we're going to put the bones in here. And turn all of those into, uh, well, bone meal first. There we go. And then we'll turn all that into epoxy. Uh, let's run this over here. Oh, the other thing I want to do is I want to add some more lighting to our main hallway here as well uh, so I think what we're yeah we've been storing the, the hide and the leather in here uh, we got some bacon now I wonder is bacon used in any recipes oh it is crispy bacon with animal fat it doesn't make sense bacon is 80% animal fat why would you add more to it <laughs> no, no. that's funny uh, I don't see any new recipes in here though, so this looks like this is the only new recipe there. What about the pot belly stove? Does it have any new? Oh, you can also make crispy bacon in the pot belly. Okay, roast veggies, fish curry, soybean stir fry stew. Other than this, what weren't all these other things already in here? I don't remember for sure. It takes one bacon and one animal fat. So you can make it in either either stove. Okay. Well, let's make some crispy bacon, because why not, right? I mean, who doesn't want that? <laughs> oh, excuse me. Good Lord Almighty. Uh, man. I think I'm, I have seasonal, seasonal allergies, and sometimes they just really kick in like that. Okay. Yeah, let's make 11 crispy bacon. That sounds delicious. Oh, we got soft meat. Is soft meat used in any recipes? Nothing there. What about here? Nope, nothing in there either. What about the normal fireplace? No, the normal fireplace, you just cook it. 150 food, though. That's not bad in 30 health. 100 maximum, 150. Oh, wow. That's actually really good. Uh, those are really good stats for, for just cooking the meat straight up. That's not bad. Cooked white meat, cooked bacon. Um. All right. Why don't we? Why don't we do that? Why don't we actually cook it? All right. We have to put some wood in the fire there. Let's grab all of these too, because we're going to use those to do some trim work. We're going to need to make some stone pillars too. Okay. Yeah. Let's cook ourselves some soft meat. All right. Well, you know, the, the nice thing about that is when we start a new prospect and, you know, we're starting out at the very beginning, having access to that those kind of buffs early on is going to be really nice. Really nice. Okay, so let's see. That's there. This is all here. Oh, you know what, you guys? We're getting really low on ice. We're going to have to make a trip to the Arctic. In fact, shoot, maybe we should do... I'm going to have to do that, like, immediately. Probably we'll do that as soon as this episode's done. I'm glad I checked that. Uh, okay, so we have some extra meat here. I think we're just storing all that in there and letting it spoil. Beautiful. Okay. So, um, let's see. Lighting. Let's do lighting first. I made a couple more torches here. And um, we're just going to... I'm just putting coal in there because I'm kind of at the point where I don't need a lot of steel how much steel do we have we don't have any steel in there oh yeah we've got 60 steel in there so uh yeah let's just use coal because you know they, it just burns a lot longer all right so we've got a couple of um braziers down here and some stuff on the pillars 
So I think we're going to also want to put some torches by the door. Um, maybe just right here-ish or so. And one right here-ish. These torches don't give out a ton of light, unfortunately, but they look cool. So we'll put one there and one right about there. Okay, and we'll fill those up with coal. I wish there was a way that we could make it so that these would turn off in the in the daylight and turn on at night. Um, there, there's a mod in. Uh, In Arc, called I think I think it's S plus that would allow you to put torches up and then configure a time you know a time of day when they come on and then turn back off. We got to make more windows too. Lots of stuff to do. So yeah, if okay, so two, four, six, seven. We need seven more windows. Let's uh, look at that. So we make those glass window. I think we tried the heavy glass windows and I didn't like the look of them. They're kind of grungy looking. So we need wood, glass, and epoxy for that. Okay. Let's grab a stack of wood. And then glass, if we have it. Oh, do we not have any glass? I don't think we have any glass. We're going to have to get some silica, which we actually have some silica out there that we could mine up. Yeah, there's not even any silica in there. What about in here? There we go. Uh, let's grab two stacks of that and cook it up. Oh, wait, no. It, I guess it activates automatically. Okay, so we'll make some glass. And then what was the other thing we needed? Epoxy? Yeah, I'm going to need some epoxy too. So that should be... Um, let's actually make a bunch of epoxy in here with the bone meal that we just made. See, I got a bunch of coal down here, too, so it's not like we're uh, short on that. Anyway, anyway. Okay, and then let's just split this in half, and we'll put that much in here for now. And then uh, wait for that glass, and then we'll start making some... Win oh, <laughs> we need windows in here, too, don't we? Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to have to get more epoxy and more silica going but yeah i want to do that <clears throat> you know get those windows in place okay so let's see we have one we have one more torch so i'm thinking we also put a torch so we got got some by the door these corners are, are going to be kind of dark um so maybe we also put torches in the corner right about here ish Okay, so that means we're going to need one, two, three more torches for each of the corners. And what do we need to make three more of those? Iron ingots, sulfur, leather, and wood. Okay. Let's grab those ingots. We should have some more sulfur in here. We're going to have to go out and get sulfur too. And, of course, we keep our wood in here. And then, you know, what we'll do is we'll wait until nighttime. And at nighttime, we'll, uh, we'll see, you know, how the lighting looks. It doesn't have to be, you know, super bright either, but we just want it to look right. Whatever, whatever looking right actually means. It means that I look at it and I say, yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's what it means. Um, so, okay, cool. Uh, so we got the lighting on. We're, we're working towards getting our windows in place. Um, the next thing that I wanted to do is, uh, start messing with the water pumps. Because the thing is, is things like, for example, the concrete mixer and, um, what else? There's a couple things that can take a water connection. Oh, this does too. Yeah. Um, and then they'll, they'll run more efficiently or faster or whatever with that water connection. <laughs> Plus, I haven't messed with water pumps yet either, so that's kind of cool. All right, now, did we make a water pump? Let's look. I thought we had made one. Yes. Okay. So let's grab that, and we have the 
Oh no, that's the electricity tool. Did I make the Did I make the pipe tool? Oh well, we gotta remember to take this back with us. Man, I hope I don't forget that. I really sincerely hope I don't forget that. Anyway, um I thought I made the piping tool, but if I did, I would have put it in here, so maybe I didn't. Because I'm not seeing it in there. Okay, so that's gonna be made in here most likely, right? Water pipe tool. So we need copper ingot and four carbon fibers. Um, I don't think we have carbon fibers in here. Oh, here's some glass. Let's grab that glass. Put this in here. Um, all right, so I'm just my brain's not working very well here. Oh wow, we got lots of sulfur and oxide in here. That's good to know. And some gunpowder too. All right, what am I looking for? Um, we need to make carbon fiber. So we need to make carbon paste. So we need aluminum and organic resin. Okay, so let's grab um, a couple of stacks of those guys. And a couple more stacks of wood. And put <clears throat> all of that in there and make a bunch of organic resin. I'll put that sulfur back in there and we'll put... Man, that storm is loud. Goodness gracious sakes alive. We don't need the electricity tool for now, so we'll put that back in our storage chest. Oh, we needed gold and copper, didn't we? Okay, so let's grab that and aluminum. Uh, so we'll grab a stack of aluminum. We need a little bit more copper. So is that in here? No, there's no copper in there. There's a bunch of aluminum in there. Uh, platinum, gold... Hey, am I out of copper? There's no copper in there. There's no copper in there. Yeah, we have... Oh, okay. We have some copper in here. Okay. All right. So we have everything except for the carbon fibers. So we'll let this finish up. And then how many of these can we make? 11? Well, let's just make what we need. Let's not overmake these things because they're a little more expensive. And then those we can put in here. And the glass is just about finished, so we'll let that finish up, and then it'll start working on the carbon paste. How come it's not making steel bloom? Um, shouldn't have been working on that? Oh, maybe I had it turned off. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, well, it'll start on the carbon fiber next, and then it should make one more steel out of that bloom there. After it's done with the glass. Um, and actually, here, let's stop that. Okay, now it starts on the carbon fiber. We'll put the glass in here. And we want to make a bunch of windows there, so we'll just make as many as we currently can. I'm going to put this silica back in here for the moment. There it goes. Now it's working on the steel bloom. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know. Okay, and then we should be able to now make the water pipe tool, so let's do that. Now we'll grab this and put it back in there and finish up the glass. Okay, cool. Let's put the copper back in there. I guess we'll just put the gold and aluminum in here for now. And we have a piping tool. Okay, so we have to put this thing in the water. How far into the water does it need to be, I wonder? Let's grab this. That far. That makes me, that makes me wonder about something. Um, what, 
What if we... I'm thinking... We need a way to get underneath here. Is this a foundation or a ceiling? It's a ceiling. Okay. Okay, good, good. That's actually really good. Okay, so let's put this back in place. So here's what I'm thinking we do. How about... Yeah. How... That... Actually, you know what? I think that was a foundation, but that's okay. Oh, you know what, though? Yeah, that was a foundation. We can't... We can't get to the water down here. What what I was trying to thinking is if the water, you know, came up to here, we could we could put the pump down here, but I don't think that's going to work now. Okay. But I still want to have an access down here. Um so what we're going to do is we're going to make a hatch. For down here. So, um, do we do, where do we do that at? Do we do that in here? Hatch, 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 hatch. Okay, there's a wood trap door. Uh, but we want, we want the nicer version of that. Interior wood floor. Half piece. Interior wood ramp. Here we go, trap door. So let's make the trap door. And then... Is there... I think we just make one of these, right? And then we can change change it to a, a trapdoor thingy. Reinforced trapdoor. No, it does need to be reinforced because it's... Oh, no, that's just a normal wood floor. We don't want a normal wood floor. We want a nice wood floor. Interior wood. Okay, so we need copper nails. Um... And that requires copper ingots. Um, so let's grab... No. Hold down Alt. Drag one off. There we go. Okay. Make some nails. Make an interior wood floor. Let's just destroy that. Okay, and then I guess we need to make a ladder too, right? Because otherwise, how are we going to get down the hatch and back up? Okay, now let's come over here. And... Oh, I wonder... This would actually look better if it was a stone hatch, wouldn't it? Um, or a stone wall. Because it, otherwise it's not going to match everything else. Yeah. Let's try this. But before I do this, I just want to make sure that I know how to make a stone hatch. Yeah. A stone floor trapdoor. Okay. Do I ha have any of those already made? Ah, I do. All right. Cool. I do. I do. All right. So, what we're going to do is hold down R and make this a trap door. And we probably want it to... I guess go this way. Okay. Now, this should... Why doesn't that snap on there? Oh, you know why? Because the stairs are in the way. Okay. Yeah, that's what's going on there. I wonder, we might have to put it right here. 
Unless I can get it to turn that way. Lighting. Yeah, I, I think I think we're gonna have to put it here. I think we're gonna have to put it there. Uh which means we might as well just put this back in like it was originally. Okay. Right, right, right. Okay. So now what I want to do is let's grab this and turn it that way. Now we should be able to put the ladder in. Why doesn't that snap though? Does it have to have the hatch in place first? Does that only go the one direction? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, and then for this... I don't know why that won't snap. It seems weird that it doesn't snap. Okay, well, um, what if we just eyeball it to here like that? See, it's not it's not straight though. Let's try this again. The problem is for you know to bring it closer to me, I can I. I can't look up because when I look up, then it wants to go further away. All right, what about that? Press E to interact. All right, well, I guess that's uh, <laughs> that's what we got to do with that. Okay. Um, did we... Oh, we haven't actually turned these on. Oh, that doesn't have any coal in it. Okay. Let's get the these remaining three and a little bit more coal out of here. Yeah. I'm, I feel like I'm kind of all over the place in this episode. We're doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That's right. It's all stuff that's got to get done, so... It's all good, man. It's all good. Alright, now, split this. Split this. No, drop it. Let's try this again. I want it in 25s. Hold E, get that in there, activate. And one more. Okay, so we'll have to um we'll have to wait until night you know, full night before we can see the full effect of these. Are you guys out of coal? No. Why are you why are you off? Hmm, I don't know. And, you know, the other thing that might look neat, too, is 
We could maybe put some torches on these beams going, going across to kind of light up the glass up a little higher too and maybe put some torches up higher that way too. Uh, we're low on food. Oh, let's have some crispy bacon. What does that give us? Experience, maximum health. Oh, 10% crit. Okay, that's not bad. Why? Here, we gotta get this in a fridge or it's gonna go bad on us. Let's pull this out. And let's pull this carrot out and we'll put the that bacon in there for now. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, and we'll just put all this stuff in here. Basic fertilizer. It's too bad you couldn't put the rotten meat in there to make fertilizer. You know? You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's see. We got our trap door in place. Uh, we're working on windows. So let's grab that. Okay, so we got five windows so far. Since we started on this side, we might as well keep working there. Okay, that looks cool. Too bad you couldn't open them up, but it doesn't look like they allow that. Very nice. Okay, so, um, water pump time. Uh, oh, I got one more window. There we go. So we'll keep working on that stuff. I'm gonna obviously gonna need to go get a bunch more uh, sulfur, or uh, not sulfur. I mean uh, silica to make all of that. So we'll keep working on that, and um, let's uh, swap out our lantern here. So uh, we're gonna have to go out here. And I guess the water pump's gonna. We're just gonna put it right here. And I wonder, does it matter which which direction this goes in? Now let me put it all the way up to this here. When we attach a pipe to it. Oh, okay, so that's... Oh, that's the output. Okay, obviously we want that facing towards the building then. Now we know. Plus, I didn't put that down very straight anyway. Okay, let's try this again. Um, so we want to put it like this. Whoa. And that looks pretty straight there. Okay. Um, so, now what we do is we connect a water pipe to it. And does... Will it go underground? Here, let's temporarily take that out. Or when I say go underground, I mean, will it go through walls? Okay, it looks like that's the furthest it wants to go. But what I actually would like to do is... Let's just put it on the edge of the wall there. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, crap. We collapsed our, our container. Uh, or our, our cupboard. That's not what I meant to do. I was going to say, man, what in the world's going on there? Alright, let's put this... ...here, for now. So we can pick all that stuff back up and put it back in the container. get stuff back on our toolbar here. 
to make some room. I guess we can put that down there. Okay. Yeah, that's not quite what we wanted to do. Looks like we lost a, a railing as well. Those we keep with us. This we want to hang on to. Um, wood repair hammer. Let's put these back in here for the moment. Okay. Oh, there's our rail. Okay. Whoops. Need to be careful about just pulling foundations up willy-nilly, man. These titanium ingots actually should go in here. Let's put all of that in there. Electricity tool. No, that doesn't need to go in there. Okay, so we'll put the foundation back in. Um, actually, though, that's, that needs power too, doesn't it? Okay, let's not put that foundation in quite yet. Water pump. Yeah, it does need power. Okay, so um, what we're going to do then is we're going to have to run a power... We're, well, we're actually going to have to build another generator because the current generator is maxed out with just running the furnace and the... Uh, uh, you know, this thing. Whatever that's called. Material processor. <laughs> Electrical mortar and pestle thingamadoodle. Okay, um, so what do we need for another Ginny? We need steel, copper, electronics, and glass. We already have the steel screws in there. All right. Let's grab some glass. And let's grab some steel. Let's grab some copper. And what else did we need? Electric composter, a water pump. Here we go. Generator. Oh, and electronics. Hmm. Do we have electronics made up? Crap. We don't. Okay. So, let's see. What do we need to make those? We can make a total of seven. So let's make seven and then we'll see what we're short on. It's going to be copper, isn't it? It's always copper for electronics that you're short on. Alright. I don't... Do I have any copper in here? I don't think so. That's platinum. We have one piece of copper, but that's not going to help us. I think it's time to go do some mining. It's time to go do some mining. All right, you guys. Well, here's the deal then. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. I need to go to the Arctic and get some ice for our, our, our ice boxes. I need copper. I need silica. And probably a bunch of other crap too. So I'm going to probably spend some off-camera time, you know, just grinding all of that stuff out. And then when I'm ready to bring everybody uh, or bring you all back I'm not gonna put anything else over that for now because we'll probably end up picking that back up again um, when I'm ready to bring you all back we will continue working with our water piping here's the lighting in here now at, at nighttime so that's not bad actually you know I think the light does a pretty good job of reflecting off the floor and making it look nice in here it's not it's not bright but it's certainly light enough to see and, and, and kind of has that warm rustic feel to it the one thing i'm thinking of though that might look cool is like i said earlier is putting some torches on these posts along the glass and higher up on the pillars too just to um you know light light it up uh higher up and then that could also look neat from the outside too let's just go run out on our bridge here for a second yeah so so you know when we're looking at the base, the, the problem is the render distance. I mean, how far away can we get before the light starts to disappear? Well, we can still see it quite a ways out here. Now it's now it disappears. Okay, so it starts to pop in right about here-ish. But I think that, you know, that would look really neat if we, if we lit that all up too uh, and looked at it from the outside at night. 
So, yeah, that is, uh, I think, where we're going to stop with today's episode. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.